Hey everyone, welcome to Sims World. In this episode, we actually have a thing that's going to happen. And that is that Kyler is actually going to be aging up into a child in this episode. Because, obviously, his birthday is in a few days. And so, we're going to age him up out, um, change up his look. And then, I think maybe we work on the restaurant a little bit. Because we haven't been there in a little bit of time. Um... Let's just make him a social butterfly, and I really think they need more kids-based traits, and I really can't wait for eco-living, honestly. Um, but for him, I think maybe he could be a little bit of a neat freak. Um, don't worry, that's not how he's going to look. We're going to edit up his looks and make him officially look a certain way here in a minute. So just bear with me. Um, and we're also going to dive a little bit more into the situation that is going on with Marcy. Matchley, you know what? We're going to do that situation with Marcy. And then in the next one, we will deal with the restaurant. Definitely. But um, I think uh, we're going to go ahead and edit up uh, Kyler and then we'll come back to the situation with Marcy. So I'll be back once I'm finished editing up him and we'll go from there. Okay, so we have Kyler. I really struggled with the um, look for him because I didn't know what to do with him, honestly. I wanted him to be similar to his dad in looks, but then again... Not exactly the same, but I knew I wanted him to have dark colored hair. Um, so this is his everyday look. His formal, his athletic, his sleepwear, his party wear, his swimwear, his hot weather, and his cold weather. Now let's go ahead and get back into the game. Okay, we are back, and you will take notice that Dorothy... That Barbara, I'm sorry, is on the phone. And that is because she's getting a phone call from the police. And stating that they have located her sister. And she is not good. Like, they've pretty much announced her as she has passed. And that means that they have to sign pretty much... Adoption papers or they're going to have to step in and take Jed. And so Barbara has already stated that she was going to adopt Jed right then and there. And there was no ifs ands buts about it. She was taking Jed no matter without asking Kai about anything. And I think Kai would agree with her anyways that the best decision was to adopt Jed. Obviously, they have to try to break the news to Jed um, carefully that what just happened and so they're going to go ahead and do that and this is just going to be a tough decision because obviously Jed cares very much about his mom um, and so they have to um, Um, unfortunately tell him the bad news. Um, and in the game, for some reason, I don't understand why, but the only way to do that would be, like, to say fake and bad news. But we're going to say that she's legitimately telling him the bad news um, about Marcy and... So she said, I'm glad you're sitting down. Um, I have to talk to you about your mom and all that. Obviously, obviously she, both of them are upset, but um, Josh is trying to lighten the mood by cracking a little bit of jokes and all that with um, each other and... Trying to keep Jed occupied and 
not worried about things, and I think that just speaks volumes to who Josh's character is going to be in the future. Um, and things are just going to be quite different now that they know what truly happened with Marcy and um, her character. Um, more development will happen in this storyline as things go forward. Um, but in the next episode, we'll focus on the restaurant, and then immediately following that, they'll, we will, uh, continue with this storyline with Marcy, and, um, go from there, but as of right now, I don't really know what to do, like, maybe they can do a little bit of investigating all that, and, Maybe Dorothy, Dorothy called, or uh, texted her mom, and she let her mom, she let Dorothy know, so maybe, maybe Barbara, though, needs, just needs to get away and out of the house for a little bit, so she's gonna go ahead and do a little bit of investigating outside, uh, and she's gonna stumble upon some of these, um, seashells. And one of them is actually for mermaids, so that's good news. Maybe she can meet herself a little mermaid friend down the line. I mean, we all know that we all know that uh, Grace is obviously a mermaid. But I think now that she's blown, that um, nearby mermaids would actually come if there was any. But um, I don't think there's any out and about right now. But anyways, so yeah, I think she's just out and about right now because she is really struggling with the whole thing with her separation of her, parent, her sister and all that. So that's actually, you know what? I know it's short, I know it really is short, but I think we're going to go ahead and end it out here. I think we hit a huge bombshell, and we can go from here in the next episode. Obviously, this one had its ups a little bit with the birthday of Kyler and his looks and stuff, but then it kind of took a turn for the worst after the revealing of what truly happened to Marcy and... How this storyline will develop, we'll have to wait and see. But I'll see you guys all next week where we dive more in with the restaurant. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day and peace.